<laughs> or some shit like that. Yo tengo una you gotta add a little spice to it. Hice mucho en Sonora. We got this. Eight Toast Alive podcast, baby. Most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. We are in a different studio. Shout so out to the new producer, Kim, <laughs> over here that, you know, let us uh, use this space in Santa Monica that honestly... I wish everybody can see the full thing right now because it's, it's, it's a amazing. beautiful space. This is nice. Yeah. It don't smell like roaches in here. You got Kava right, right down the street. Kava, look, you got Kava. You got the beach. The you production. got the bungalow. You got bunk. The production the budget bu- just went up. <laughs> yup. But if you guys want to book her, you got to use our discount code that we have none, but use our code. <laughs> <laughs> just... Just email. Said, yeah, we're gonna put the email it. down. Just like our discount code for uh, Shop Segura, use the same one. That's right. That's non existent right. still, but I don't know why. She hasn't, she hasn't made it live. crazy. Why hasn't it been she hasn't made it live? Can you tell us why it Is hasn't been live? Is this an attack jack? Oh, oh attack she feels attacked. Is this attack jack? Title no, of the never. podcast <laughs> Attack Jack. She storms off, flips the table. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, not here, not here. This is the studio. Speak, speaking of Jack. Who were you yesterday? Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just like okay. the last podcast cool. when we said if they wanted to, they, they would. would. And she and she's and here. Wants to. To. And she's and here, I but let's rewind the twenty four hours. Just literally, you know, you talk know, to us. Get okay. us through this. Get us through so this. So for the last twenty four hours, I was here in LA. I drove to Phoenix. I went to a country concert. I went to go see Mr. Luke Holmes and Mr. Luke Holmes. If you're Mr. watching Luke this, nice. love you. We should talk about we beer. It. Never we broke my you. heart. Baby. Not mine either. <laughs> never. So Damn. we can figure out a plan if you want to. But um, I was in Phoenix this morning. But then over here they said, "Hey, we're gonna do a podcast at three. I Are didn't you down? Think you were gonna make it? You guys all I doubted me. No, 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 no. You know why? I because did. I know you were. Either, I knew she was gonna make it. You were out late, and you were I, like, I don't know where you were. I was. <laughs> I was out late. I went to a concert. I had a great time. I. Siendo un poquito desvelada, pero I am a woman of my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And this guy called me like three times to see, are you good? Are you good? Are you coming? Are you on the way? Like, (laughs) is there something you want to talk about, Disc? Look, very traumatic. I've been let down by a lot of people. (laughs) And I've been hurt by a lot of people. um, That's crazy. I just, I'm used to it. So I expect (laughs) the worst, but hope for the best. Hey. It's, it's okay. It's your fault for putting expectations on other people. That's true. You got to give me a chance. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. That's how you feel? That's how you feel. <laughs> that's how you feel. Tag, okay. your, tag your most toxic friend. Don't tag me. <laughs> <laughs> you just tag me. <laughs> no, like <laughs> all. <laughs> so that is what Jack Jack World Tour consisted of in the last 24 hours. The world, world Tour. tour. It's Shit, a long, we could do another it. episode on this if you really wanted to. No, we definitely Let's have to. It. We definitely have to. But I was in Phoenix yesterday. I drove back this morning and nice. I came straight to Santa Monica. And if they wanted to, they would. And I wanted to. Clearly, so this is a priority. here I am. Here I am. Y aquí estamos. Aquí está. The show must go on. All right. I'm going to hit you ready right away. Right off the bat. We, I brought it up to Pepe earlier, but because Jose wanted to be not on <laughs> early like us. No, you he said never be here at 1.30. I got here at 1.30. I got here 10 minutes if late you're, because I was walking around. If you're an athlete, this is what Coach always says. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're early, you're on time. Period. Bro. Sorry, I was, I was, I was, I was being an athlete, actually. <laughs> before this. I got here before you. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's true. Oh all right. So... We had a video that we put up this week from the podcast that right. we did, episode 158. Absolutely. And someone by the name of Sour Patch Kid commented on it and brought up a good, a good uh, point. Women have been taught through ages to be selfless and serve. And as soon as they can no longer serve or get sick or have a disability, they're of no worth. How do we feel? I don't know if I agree with that because now in this day and age every man for himself like every man for himself men and women equal opportunity that you know if one thing doesn't work out for you for example the comment you know you just gotta try something new and figure something new out but it doesn't mean like you lose your worth I would say I think women are capable of so many different things that you know, it's in us to 
nurture and give and, you know, just be a little more like that. But I don't think that's the only thing that we're limited to. Mm-hmm. The sky's the limit. And women can do a lot of different things. That what do you think uh, people see females as that? Like, let's say a husband, a family? Uh, some. some. Yeah, some. I think we're coming to, like, a day and age where some things are changing and, mm-hmm. you know, women have you know, a new presence in new spaces. Of course. But I do think that some might see that and, and that's okay. Yeah. But if you're in an area where you're feeling all that, like, bash and, like, oh, you you know, people are giving you shit for it, yeah. then remove yourself. Find somewhere else. Because there's going to be people that don't really like what you're doing, but there's also going to be people that do and you just have to find that right space where they accept you as who you are. Because, you know. Is it walk into a room where you're celebrated, not tolerated? Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, and I know we I've said this before, but, you know, pay attention to the room you're walking in. If people are turning around to, you know, welcome you in, happy, smiling, excited that you're there, amazing. That's where you need to be. But if they're turning around and right away talking to someone and be like, damn, why is he here? Why is she here? The fuck turn is around she and get out. Yeah, no. no <laughs> turn no, around no. and get out. Because if you're if you're around or you're in a room full of snakes, you can't expect anything less than what's coming. Mm-mm. You know, trim your grass. You're gonna see the snakes. Yeah, and and some of them be your closest ones. That part, that part. Some of the people. <laughs> That's the scary part. It's That's true. The, the people that you have around you. Your the friends, the ones you consider the closest? The people the you've known the longest, the people that you went through so much with. You expect them to be the same person all the time. and They're the ones that turn on you. And that's scary. Yeah. But it's life. Yeah, you it's know, sad. It's life. <laughs> it's life. <laughs> you, you can't tell a big dream to a small-minded person. No. You know, no. You know, whatever you're doing, if it's, if it's a crazy idea, go for it. What's the worst that's ever going to happen? You may fail, but it's okay. You learn. And... Again, surround yourself with people that are go-getters, that have the mentality just like you because they're not going to live your your life for you when you get older. Mm. And they say when shit hits the fan, you'll see who really is around you. And there's two places you're going to end up in that pe- you'll see who it is, right. in jail or in the hospital. I have my brother that took a trip up north for a whole year <laughs> out of the 50 people or more that he had there is only four people that visit him the whole time. That's crazy. You know? And it's like you, again, you just celebrated your birthday with hundreds of people there. Just for one week to another, shit happened, and only four people are visiting you? You know who will be there. And then what happens when you're back out? Or you, or you let's, for example, you are down bad. You're struggling with mental health that I know a lot of us that stay quiet, we do. And you go, you go silent for a while. No one hits you up. No one checks in. No one asks how you're doing. No one calls. No one invites you. No one nothing. And then you start posting that you're back out. Dude, where you been? Come through. We missed you. Have you? Have I ever gone? Oh, it, it, <laughs> have you ever gone missing? Have I have ever, ever gone, gone missing? missing? Okay, see, have you ever gone missing and who's checked that. on you? I was thinking of that because as a social butterfly that I am, <laughs> I have not gone missing. I'm see. This is the she's thing. Everywhere. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I'm here and there at the same she's, time. What you mean? She's tri state. That's, no, just and that's, just, that's just who I am. Like like earlier, I was thinking. I was like, dang, I'm supposed to be more mysterious this year, and I'm supposed to be, you know, more reserved and quiet. I'm not here yapping on a podcast, like you know. Who would have thought, huh? I, you know, but what I can say is that I've never really gone missing. Because that's, it's just not who I am. But I will say people don't know everything that's going on. People think they know. But they don't even know half of it. So, you know, you just got to kind of put a little fake smile on and, you know. All right. I was talking about this Facebook. earlier. All I need is the first thing that comes to mind, just, just yap it, just blur it. <laughs> Just yeah, all right. There's nothing I can do. I think we're Jose, <laughs> you've been getting so much better, brother. Keep it going. Jose, he's yapping now. He's a yapper. He's a yapper. Back cave, no. <laughs> all right, all right. So I heard this earlier in the week, and it said, "I was taught that keeping quiet kept the peace, until I realized whose peace it was keeping." My <laughs> guys look at me. I've been yapping this whole time. 
repeat it? I think it's true. Could you repeat it? Yeah, repeat it. Yeah. No, miss. No, 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 All right. I was taught that keeping quiet kept the peace until I realized whose peace it was keeping. True. It wasn't mine. It's true. I think a lot of the times we don't say what we really feel or how we really feel just to not upset the other person. But deep down, you know better, right? But it's like if you say it and then they don't take account into it, then what's the point? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Because so why, hold it. why waste your energy on somebody that's not going to reciprocate or understand what you're saying? At that point, you're trying to get a message. You're trying to get a message through a brick wall. Mm-hmm. And you're just so, Yeah, once they're fixed on that mindset, you can't change their perspective. Yeah. It's and up to them to change their perspective. And that's a they problem. Yeah. That doesn't end up, so sometimes you just really have to like analyze the situation, what's going on, what's happening. But honestly, yeah. sometimes saying less yeah. gives you the whole answer that you need. Sometimes saying nothing speaks louder. Mm-hmm. That's why I like to be quiet. Yeah, yeah. 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 And a few words. <laughs> Look at me. He's <laughs> mysterious. He's mysterious. <laughs> you know, and, and it's hard because I know a lot of us, you know, we end up staying quiet. Why? Because we feel like our words never get heard. We've never get seen or we never take a cut. People don't take accountability of how we feel. Mm-hmm. So the more we talk and the less we get back, we're just, you know what? It's better off if I just don't say a word. Is that and how you feel? Sometimes for sure. Most definitely. Because why am I going to ex- ex- express my feelings when tomorrow is going to go back to the same thing? Yeah. You know, and you're, you're giving out yeah. energy, how you said that I could keep. But I'm, I'm trying to give you a benefit of the doubt. And at the end of the day, it's still not working. Mm-hmm. So, and I, I said this to you the other day. It's like, you know, when everybody left, who came to save me? Nobody. You know, I had to save myself. And if I didn't do it, then I, I don't know where I'd been. But when I was asking for help and seeking for help, no one came. So you can't blame me for wanting to be alone or not have that heart and then with enough space to keep people around. It's just if you leave... It's okay. Yeah. I've been through this. It's okay. Do I hate it? Yeah, everybody hates getting left alone. But are we used to it? Unfortunately, we are. But it's one of those things where it's like, I wanted to be able to express myself and be heard. And just at least seen. Whatever you do with that information. Like you did your part. Yeah. And that's, your conscience is clean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think definitely if you feel good about saying whatever you need to say if it keeps you know you at peace do it dale dale but i mean sometimes people just don't get the message i'm different so. i'm still gonna i'm gonna say it i'm gonna piss you off and then <laughs> let's keep it moving and if you want to drop me I hear. i'm like if you want to drop me because i told you how i felt and shit that's on you that's on I you i just don't like wasting that's energy, on you honestly but like, I feel like I, you, I could, you know, I could be a yapper and I can, I can say what I want to say to anybody who I want to, but it's just wasting my energy. You're still wasting your energy thinking about the shit you could be saying. No, I, I won't even think about it. He said just be vocal it. about it. I said just say it. <laughs> uh, bro, me, is it, if it hurts your feelings, it hurts your feelings. Isn't it crazy that when you're not thinking about something, you end up thinking about that? Oh. You oh. thought of that? You thought of that? <laughs> think oh, wow. about it. Light bulb. Insert light bulb. <laughs> Wow. No, what's the the process was processing, my boy. That was like a drunk thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a drunk thought. No, what's that one? If, si andas preocupado, no te preocupes. No te preocup- oh my God, I love him. I know. <laughs> si andas estresado, no te estreses. Porque si te estresas, te estresas más. Sí. Y si andas aguitado, te, te aguites. You know, as, as funny as that sounds, it's the it's first sim- step in the right direction. <laughs> si no estás estresado... O si estás estresado, no te estreses. Tómate una chela. Tómate un cut water. Yo me lo tomé. These are quite good. No, I think uh, the whole purpose of this podcast today and with us is it's more of a like, we became these people because life happened and it shaped us into who we are. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't the most sane. We weren't the best. It, It was so much and more. But who you become at the end of the storm, you should be proud of because you survived, first of all. And second, you get to speak about your journey. However that looks like, however that that is, just make sure you stay true to who you are and be proud of the person you become after this storm is done. Oh, yeah. You'd be surprised how many people can relate to what you're going through or what you went through. 
and they would use it as, you know, motivation. Yeah. Um, you know, I think this might be, quote unquote, maybe the last one, but again, just react the way we need to. Just react. <laughs> react the way we need to. Um, so a long one, but we don't fall in love with the people because they are good people. We fall in love with people whose darkness we recognize. You can fall in love with, with a person for all the right reasons, but that kind of love can still fall apart. But when you fall in love with a person because your monsters have found a home in them, that's the kind of love that owns your skin and bones. Chills. <laughs> chills. No, definitely. Like, um, as cliche as it sounds, like, you can have that person that can be that sunlight of your dark world, right? Like, they're, they're the reason things around you gets better. They're, they're that reason it, um, you, you just lighten up, right? Yeah. Like, they're the sun in your dark world. Yeah. That was beautiful. I think we can. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Same. Same. Very, um, give me another <laughs> one. I think, I think that's where we stop <laughs> it. It's like, same. That's how I feel. Like, now I can't even say it. <laughs> how am I supposed to back I don't that say up? That. That's why I'm like, same. That's where we, and that's a wrap, guys. That's where we Wait, stop. Say it. how you guys feel. Like, Until four weeks from now. I always appreciate anybody that I meet. You know, you get to know them, and then you find out, oh, you went through that too? That happened to me too. You guys connect on a different level when you find out you had similar struggles. And I yeah. think, you know, it just, you're, it's more relatable. You understand the person. You don't judge the person as much because you're just like, I've been there, done that. Yeah. I know exactly what you're going through. And you don't judge them for anything, really. But I, I do think that that kind of, um, understanding and just it really does connect on a different level yeah. for sure what do you think <laughs> when you meet somebody that's gone through similar struggles as you and hardships I think most definitely you you find a home where the whole world stops time stops nothing in the world matters nobody in the world matters but you and them all your Voices in your head, quiet down. Your mind that's running at a thousand miles an hour, stop and slow down. And all that matters is you and her, you and that person. And it's just pure calmness. I find peace. You know, we we fight demons a lot. We fight our voices in our head that are very negative. And when you find that one person, you're like, wow, for the first time in a long time, I don't need to hear them or listen to them or worry about them. I only worry about this moment here, and I want to keep going. So, And it's also like you don't even need words to explain how you feel because they understand. They know. You just feel they comfortable know. around them. Yeah. It's just like it's a simple if you know, hug. you know. It's a simple hug. It's a simple th being in the presence of someone. Yeah, just yeah. like being in the same room. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even have to say it. It's just yeah. like you get me. Yeah. And it's I like that, that car ride, right? Like. I like being alone in the car ride, but if that, yeah, that never specific person is there, it's cool. Like, I don't yeah. care. It's time. It's, uh, it's one of those things where you got to make sure you're around the right people. You have to make sure that the people around you have the same love for you and appreciate you and take care of you the way you take care of them. Because when you're around negative people, people that constantly put you down, people that constantly shoot down every aspiration that you may have it becomes very toxic and it becomes very lonely the reason i say this it's in just because we just got done with the mental health month but um someone not in this state uh young elementary kid was getting very much bullied and unfortunately he lost that battle to his own mental health and the only thing that i would say to that is if you're struggling with something and you're struggling with negativity around you, it is okay. You're going to get through it. You're loved. We got you. Keep on going. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. You know, the dark days do not last. The sun will come out. And you will not see that until you keep on going and you keep on walking. So it's a, 
only reason to say that is just because, again, like, this is just kind of a little catch-up of what we've been through and kind of a little we're getting used to coming back around because this is now the third third time in the studio in two months. Yeah. We've kind of we've diverted <laughs> in, our, in our content and, and we switched up it a little bit. But, you know, finding our home back in the studio is definitely one of those things where... I feel like it's finally <laughs> settling down. We've always, like, we've been... Yeah. We've been everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we've been everywhere, but... I think we're in a good spot. We're in a good place. We're around yeah. some amazing people with right intentions, good energies. And definitely one more time, I do want to shout out Kim for Thank you giving guys. us a space. And yeah. I need you. I, we're going to put all the details down below, <laughs> but the production, the tendency of, of the details that, that she has is for us. And I'm going to be very, very effing honest. <laughs> I didn't see an importance of having a producer or seeking for one, but I was, this I was goes crazy. I was proven. production level right? crazy. Like, damn. All right. I know. I walked in. I was like, "Why am I nervous?" <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm like, "Why am I sweating already?" Why am I nervous? Like, yeah. I know. I know. But honestly, I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" But most definitely, again, it, I know it's a short and sweet podcast, but it's it's a very much kind of just a touch up. You know, feel proud. Be happy. Keep on going. No pasa nada. Y aunque pase, no pasa nada. Y aunque estés estresado, <laughs> no te estreses. <laughs> Just what? What was it? Just have a cut water. Yeah. Just have a cut water. Wait, I know we haven't asked this in a while, but one to ten, Jose, how you feeling? One being horrible and you're ready to quit. Ten being you're perfect. One. One's never an option, so I'll go with two. <laughs> Damn. You do, but I'd say I'm at a 6.5. Mm, 6.5. I would say I'm at a, I'm at a seven. I'm in a good I'm in a good space, and it's climbing. Just how a previous episode with with Ocho, there's valleys and peaks. Yes, dude. I'm gonna go with the seven as well. That way we can just wrap it up. Call it <laughs> That's a day. Crazy. I got the lowest episode one. 160. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yes, sir. It's also live podcast. Make sure you guys subscribe, share, and that's good. <laughs>